What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to auto filter values that are not in a list. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left I got my VBA editor. On the right I've got data pertaining to countries and their respective regions. And what we want to do is be able to auto filter by region, but exclude anything that's put into a list on this tab. So I've got four regions at random that we're going to start off with. And what we want to do is auto filter everything but um, those four regions. And we can get right into the code. So let's do, let's call this sub um, filter everything not in the list. And we can go ahead and declare our variables. We'll have a count of the list, so list count as an integer. And then we'll count the data. So we'll have a data count as an integer. And then we'll also have a couple more integers. We're going to have an i and a j. We're going to use a nested for loop. And then we'll go ahead and declare our worksheet. So we'll have worksheet 1 as a worksheet and then worksheet 2 as a worksheet so we'll set worksheet 1 equal to this workbook sheets and we want that first sheet here the raw data and then we'll set worksheet 2 which is do not include equal to this workbook sheets do not include all right so let's keep going so what we're going to do first is we're going to activate sheet 2 so this sheet and we're going to count the number of items in our list so we'll do WS2 activate and then we'll have our list count and that'll be equal to worksheet function count the get our range and our range starts at a1 right here in this cell so range a1 end and then xl down because we're counting we're counting down And then we're going to go back to our first tab. So we'll activate the first tab, the first worksheet. And we'll do the same thing here. We're going to count our data. So we'll just copy and paste this. And uh, the difference between the two here, right, is this data starts here at A4. So we're going to change the range to A4. And then we're going to add 3 to account for these first three rows. Otherwise, we would just, just use this line here. So now what we're going to do is create our nested for loop. And we're going to start with I equals 1 to list count. Next I. So this outer loop is going to pertain to this tab here, our list count. So we're going to be starting here and moving down. And then we're going to have 4J equals 5 because Five, um, cell 5 this is where our data actually starts we're going to ignore the header so j equals 5 to data count and then we're going to have next j there and then for the logic we're going to say if worksheet 1 cells I2 
is equal to worksheet two cells. Sorry, this should be J two, and this should be I one text. Then we'll end our F. Then worksheet one cells J two interior color is going to equal RGB and we can just put something random here for now 100 100 100 so let me explain this really quick so in this nested for loop what we're doing is we're going to begin in the loop here at this cell so I equals 1 and then we're immediately going to enter this loop here this for loop where J equals 5 and what we're doing is checking to see if the cell in, in this location, right? So J is equal to five and we're over two. So we're in this column, we're in column two. We're seeing if this matches whatever's in this cell here, which is I1. So we're gonna stay in this loop and move down this column and compare each one of these cells to this one cell here. And then once we get all the way to the bottom, we're going to exit the loop and start from the top, except now I is equal to 2. So it'll be here, and we're going to compare all these cells again to this cell. And then the loop continues. We get to the bottom, go back up to the top, and now we're comparing all of those cells against this. Until we get to this one here, and once we break through this, we exit both loops, and we keep moving. But this if statement is where the workaround or like the trickery comes in. So what we're actually going to do in order to auto filter data that's not in this list, we're going to color any time we see an item that matches this list with what's in this column. So anytime we see any one of these regions, we're going to color it whatever color this is here. I spelled interior wrong. And we'll use that to determine how we're going to filter. So in order, so we use that to change the color, and then we're going to filter by the cells that aren't colored in order to get our achieved result. So that's how the loop works. And as far as the color, let's pick a cool one, right? So let's go here, more colors, custom. So we can see what 100, 100, 100 actually is. Uh, it's just gray. Let's go with like a bluish. I like this one, this is nice. 34, 153, 60, 166. 34, 153, 166. I think that's what it was. But we'll see, let's go ahead and run it. Boom. All right, so now we see we've highlighted all the cells that we have in this list. And then what we're going to do now is do worksheet one, range, A4. We're going to set up our auto filter. So the fill we want is fill two. And then we're not gonna have any criteria. All we're gonna have to do is operator, colon, equal signs, XL, filter, no fill. So what's gonna happen, it's gonna filter by all the regions that aren't filled. So then we'll achieve our desired result of excluding all of these um, items here that are colored. So now, if you run this, boom. We've excluded everything in this list. Only issue with this 
is say I decide to take off. All right, let me. Get a quick count. It's 113, right? So if I take off two of these, I'd expect the list to grow, right? However, the list stays the same. We're still at 113 because all of those regions we colored before are still colored even the ones that aren't in the list so what we've got to do is revert the color back and we'll do that up here right when we activate our worksheet so what we're going to do is do worksheet one show all data and because your macro will break if um, the, the, the filter isn't engaged I can go ahead and run it and show you what I'm talking about we've got an issue here right because the filter is not engaged so there's, you're not, there's no point in showing all the data so it's going to break so we'll throw in on error resume next here that way it'll continue it'll, it'll ignore this issue and keep going on with the macro you see and then what we'll do is after we show all the data, we're going to, let me step through this function here. So we show all the data and now I've got my count. And then with worksheet one, range, cells so we want to go down five over two so five two because I want to start right here in this cell and then down the data count so down to the bottom of this data and over two because I'm staying in this column I want to have my interior color am I spelling something wrong color index equal to zero. So now if I keep stepping through, I've reverted all the colors back. So if I let this run, the color changed temporarily. And you see my list should be bigger than 133 this time. And it is. We're at 167. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and grab some more of these just to show the list getting smaller. So I don't want to include that. See that? So let's keep going. Let's take out some more. And you see we're just left with this so yeah pretty cool workaround works like a charm but yeah that's all I got for today thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one